Hello everyone, really interesting Olympiad problem today. Find the value of ABC, ABC are positive integers, and we have like 1 over A plus 1 over B plus 1 over C equal to 1. We need to find an integer solution to this problem. How can you do that? There are a lot of approaches, but I want to show you my really interesting, tricky approach right, right here. So first of all, we have like 1 over A, we have the sum. So let's try to to add it, to use a cross multiplying, and let's, let's try to find maybe final equation, so final step of multiplying, uh, simplifying right here. Okay, so we have this situation. Right now, let's suppose that right here, let's suppose, let's suppose that, that A is less than B, B is less than C, and of course equal. So A is less than equal to B, B is less than equal to C. Okay, and let's find a common denominator right here. So we have ABC, our common denominator, so ABC. So right here we will have like BC plus AC and plus AB equal to equal to one. Yeah, so we have this this situation. We just add all the three elements. And right now let's cross multiply our this uh, equation. So right here and right here. So we have like BC plus AC and plus AB equal to ABC, yeah? And this is really important equation for us. So this is very important equation for us. And right now we suppose that A is less than equal to B, B is less than equal to C. So let's write this, uh, this inequalities. A is less than equal to B, B is less than equal to C. Okay, take a look closely. If you have this situation like AC, and BC, for example, we need to compare these two products. What sign we need to, to write right here? So if A is less than C, then if we multiply both number by this value, we will have the same sign, the same the same sign right here. And if we need to compare A B and B C, yeah? As you can see, A B right here, B C right here. This is this sign. So in this way, it will be bigger than this because we multiplied by B. A is less than C, so our sign is the next one. And right now, really interesting moment, because, take a look closely, let's change AC by BC and AB by BC as well. So what we will have as a result? We will have the next one, that BC, so I write this the same, plus AC and plus AB, and let's change this equal sign by inequality sign in this way, because we change AC by BC, and we have BC in the beginning, so BC plus right here instead of AC we have BC, so plus BC, and right here plus BC as well, plus BC. This is equal to ABC, we know it from the beginning, so ABC is less than or equal to, right here we add it, 1, 2, 3, we'll have 3BC. And if we cancel this inequality by BC, right here and right here, we'll have that A is less than or equal to 3. So as you can see, there is not like a lot of ways how can we solve it. And if we are talking about all integer solution, we, we are talking only about 1, 2 and 3, because A is less than or equal to 3. So let's start to solve it. So let's suppose, let's suppose that A is equal to 1. If A is equal to 1, let's plug in all of this information right here in this equation. So this is the main equation, equation 1. Plug in A equal to 1, we will have like BC plus AC plus AB equal to ABC. So I rewrite this equation right here. And let's, let's plug in all information A equal to 1. So BC plus C plus B equal to BC. Yeah, we just write it in this way. And right now, what we will have like BC and BC, we can easily cancel this from both sides. And we will have like C plus B equal to equal to zero. And if you're talking about integer solution right here, C plus B equal to zero, we cannot find like integer solution because one of these numbers should be negative because right here, for example, B is integer four. Then we need C equal to minus four, but this is not like a positive integer solution. So right here we will have, we can write it as not possible, not possible. So we reject the first case when a equal to one. Let's go next. Let's check real quick our our a equal to two. So if we suppose, so suppose that a equal to two. 
If a equal to 2, let's plug in real quick, we will have like bc plus 2c plus 2b equal to 2bc. Simplify this a little bit, right here we can subtract 1bc from both sides and we will have the 2c plus 2b equal to bc, equal to bc. We have this, this situation right now. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. Let's simplify this, let's try to factor it a, a real quick. So we have like 2c plus 2b equal to bc. Let's bring this all on the, to the left hand side. We have like 2c plus 2b equal to, or not like equal, minus bc equal to zero, yeah? And right now I want to factor from here c, so we, let's factor from this one and from this one let's factor c. If you factor c, in parentheses we will have b minus two, so b minus two, and minus 2b plus 4. I write it as 2b plus 4 and I wanted to add 4 to the left hand side, 0 plus 4. This is maybe a tricky moment right here, so I just add to both sides, I just add 4. And I hope you understand this, this step. This is maybe the main difficult step in this, in this, in this question. Okay, I want to write it right here on the top. I go right here to the top, I rewrite it. This is when a equal to 2 when a equal to 2. This is solution to this. Okay, we have c, so from this row I hope you, you wait a little bit, I rewrite it, so c times b minus 2 minus 2b plus 4 equal to 0. And right here 0, zero plus 4 of course. Okay, this is from the last row, I rewrite it right here, and we will have like c right here, b minus 2, and we factor from here minus 2, and in parentheses we will have b minus 2, b minus 2, equal to 4, yeah? So we have this, I try to, right here, I give you a, a bigger information right here. Okay, let's factor from here b minus 2. So we have b minus 2 in parentheses right here and c minus 2 because this is a product, so c minus 2 equal to, equal to 4, yeah? As you can see, a little bit complicated problem, but I hope you will enjoy it. Okay, we have a product b minus 2 times c minus 2. Okay, if you're talking about combinations of these four, how can we how can we write this four? As 1 times 4, as 2 times 2, as minus 1 times minus 4, and as minus 2 times minus 2. This is maybe the main combinations right here. And if we are talking about these parentheses, b minus 2, if we are talking about integer solution, these parentheses need to be greater than minus 2, and this one need to be greater than minus 2. So we reject all negative cases. Yeah? So as a result, we have like 1, 4, and 2, 2. So the first system of equation, b minus 2 equal to 1, and c minus 2 equal to 4. Yeah? So right here 1, and right here 4. How can we solve it? Right here b equal to 3, c equal to 6. So we have like from here solution b equal to 3, c equal to 6. And in the second equation if we solve it we will have like b equal to 4 and c equal to 4. So as you can see we finally find our, our solution to this case. But this is only when a equal to 2. We need to solve it finally when a equal to 3. Okay, so in this case we have solution, because in this case we don't have any solution, in this case we have it. So as a result our first pairs a, b, c equal to first pair 2, 3, 6 and the second pair 2, 4, 4. This is really great, when a equal to 2. Let's go next. We need to solve when a equal to 3. This is our final solution to this problem. So a equal to 3. When a equal to 3 what equation we will have? Like, let's go right here or right here. We just plug in instead of A, we plug in 3. So we have like BC plus 3C plus 3B equal to 3BC, okay? So right here what we have in this equation? We have like 3C plus 3B equal to 2BC. We just subtract BC from both sides, okay? Okay, let's try to bring all on to the left hand side. So we have like 2bc minus 3b minus 3c equal to 0. 
And right now I want to show a really good trick right here. If we add to both sides, so from here, if we add right here, if we add 4.5, and right here, if we add 4.5, what we will have as a result? We will have like the next one. So from here, our factor B, we will have like B in parentheses, we will have like 2C minus 3. And right here, I, if I add it, I can factor real quick minus 1.5 in parentheses 2C minus 3 and equal to 4.5. So this is maybe a difficult moment for you, but I hope you understand this step. Okay, let's go next. Let's try to factor it. We have 2C minus 3, so we have like 2C minus 3 and B minus 1 half equal to 4.5. Multiplying by 2 real quick and let's multiply these parentheses because we have like here right here not a really good really good number so we have like 2b minus 3 and 2c minus 3 equal to equal to 9. Okay and right here what combinations we will have? We will have like 1 times 9 and 3 times 3. 3 times 3. And I'm gonna waste your time because right here, real quick solution when a equal to 3, we can easily find it. We will have like a, b, and c will be equal to. So the first combination, if you plug in 1 and 9, if you plug in 1 and 9, we will have like a real quick solution 2, 3, 6, 2, 4, 4, and 3, 3, 3. And let's let's write our answer right here. So this is when is a is equal to three. So our final answer because we supposed that we have an equality right here. So we need to to write our final answer. We will have like a, b, c, is equal to. If we are talking about all solutions, we will have like two three six. This is first pair. Two six three. This is second pair. 3, 2, 6, this is the third pair. 6, 2, 3, 3, 6, 2, 6, 3, 2, 2, 4, 4. The next one, 4, 2, 4, and 4, 4, 2, yeah, 4, 4, Two. This is all from here. So from here combinations, from here the last combinations, and the last one right here. I write it right here. Three, three, three. Maybe a lot of students think only about this combination. Yeah, but we have a lot of really interesting, really interesting combinations. A lot of comp a little bit complicated problem, but I hope you understand this explanation. Maybe you don't understand this step because right now I don't have enough space and I write all combination real quick solving systems in, in my mind. Because it's not hard when 2b minus 3 equal to 1 and you find real quick b equal to 2 from here. Yeah, so I hope you understand this step. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for your support, I hope you enjoyed this problem. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.